welcome to Desmond Saunders. We're at Ockenden Castle, but we've only been here for one night. Prior to this, we were at Boat Garden on Loch Garden. Enjoy the video. Welcome to Desmond's Donders. Let's head off on a Donder. Loch Garten. It's a large highland freshwater loch near Boat of Garten. It's in the Strathspey area of the Cairngorm National Park, Scotland. It is surrounded by the tall pine trees of the Abernethy Forest, a large area adjacent to the loch of which is an RSPB nature reserve. The loch is renowned for its breeding population of ospreys, which lend Boat of Garten its nickname, the Osprey Village. Loch Garten is a place that ospreys returned to in the 1950s after a period of extinction in the UK. They still return every spring to breed. The Loch Garten Nature Centre, formerly the Osprey Centre, was views, has views into the nest plus high definition remote viewing and osprey webcams. Red squirrels, bank voles, crested tits and lots of other woodland birds visit the feeders at the centre. Well, we've arrived at our park up, and as you can see, trees, fallen and otherwise. The sun is a little while offsetting, but plenty of trees. But this is not why we're here. Let me spin you around. That's why we're here. Loch Garten. Not far from Boater Garten and not far from RSPB and the bird hides for the ospreys. We might see some ospreys fishing, we might not. But we're going to enjoy our weekend. Down by the loch shore. We'll take a look round. But we'll be back later, and I've got a funny feeling I can feel a time lapse coming on. Lovely spot, we've been here before, and very lucky to get in. We had five backups for here because it's a busy spot. I'm not sure you're going to hear me, wind, or the waves. But just to show you, here in Scotland, it's not only the seashore that can put on the waves. It's a lot windier today and I'm not sure either microphone's going to pick this up 
But we've been asked to move on. And we don't have to, but we are going to. Well, it's certainly not where we planned to be, but here we are at Hockingdoon Castle. We had to move on from our last park up. Too busy. And while this can be busy, there's plenty of room to get away from people and take video. So let's go and have a look further on. Not only have we got the castle to see, but there's the old trees as well. A short walk along a track and over the fields to the ruins of this impressive castle with a bloody past. The lonely ruin and surrounding earthworks of a 1400 stronghold. Ockendoon Castle may have been built by Thomas Cochrane a favourite of King James III. Ockendoon was sold to Sir Adam Gordon in 1567. Gordon's claim to fame was the murder of all the occupants of Corgarth Castle during a feud in 1571. Ockendoon Castle was itself burnt down by William Mackintosh in revenge. By 1725 the castle lay derelict. The ruined castle stands alone in a spectacular setting amid a landscape mostly devoid of settlement. Its lonely romantic location make it more than worth the walk.
Diary 17th of July 2020 I picked Lindsay up from work and we set off for our weekend away. It seems such a long time since I was able to write that. We stopped off for a fish supper. That too. We then headed off to find our park up. We were not expecting to get our first choice, but it's free and we got settled in. We got the kettle on and went out to catch the light and do some photography and video. We had hardly settled in when a couple of RSPB wardens appeared. We chatted for a while and then they moved on. They had asked that we only stayed one night before moving on, so we will probably move on somewhere tomorrow. To one of the alternates, perhaps. But not before we enjoy Lockgarten from our lockside spot. We walked about, enjoyed the evening, drinking tea and enjoying the views. of July 2020. We explored until late into the morning and then decided it was probably time to head off. The first and second alternative spots were full of cars so we moved on again without stopping. We decided to head for Ockendoon Castle via another couple of possible spots. We ended up at the castle. After lunch we went to explore and take the obligatory photos etc. There were a few folk about which made it interesting getting shots. We returned to the van for a copper. It was showery during the day and so no drone flying was managed, perhaps tomorrow. We spent the rest of the day relaxing and watching the world go by. Lindsay went out to try and get some sunset shots but the trees were not cooperating. We listened to music and suddenly it was time for bed. of July 2020. Up and breakfasted. Lindsay has a friend coming to visit and they're going to go for a walk. I listened to the cricket and played radio. Lindsay's friend arrived and we chatted for a while. They went off for a walk and then we chatted again and put the world to right. It was then time to head off for home. A weekend that did not quite go to plan but that's often the way with a donda. Wildlife, white-tailed bumblebee, speckled wood, 
Small Tortoiseshell, Red Admiral, House Mouse, Ringlet, Large Heath, a Brown Hare, and Large White. Birds House Sparrow, Rook, Blackbird, Herring Gull, Black Headed Gull, Carrion Crow, Wood Pigeon, Starling, Swallow, House Martin, Pheasant, Pied Wagtail, Oyster Catcher, Song Thrush, Buzzard, Common Sandpiper, Long Tailed Tit, Common Gull, Chiff Chaff, and Robin. Thank you for watching Desmond Starters. We we'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle, and news as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.